Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV laptop. This one is an HP NV 13-AH0001 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can service, clean and replace your CPU. Very easy and fast, you can do it at home. You should be doing this every year, a year and a half depending the use that you, how many hours a day you use it. Just remember by uh, repacing, cleaning it up, you're not gonna change any configuration or anything on the system, it's, everything's gonna stay the same. So with all this set, and we're gonna get it started and doing it. Also in this video, you can see that there is no RAM upgrade on these laptops. All right, so first thing first, you wanna power it off. You wanna flip it upside down, and I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using in here. First thing first, a uh, workshop sheet workshop towel or workshop sheet, one sheet of these, you will need an alcohol, 99% or 95% iso or isopropolic alcohol. These are very important. Do not get any 75 brand, percent brand. You will need a thermal paste. I will recommend you guys to grab the Arctic MX4. These are really good to have. And after that, you will need a screwdriver. For the screwdriver, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set, and these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. So we're gonna grab this one. We are gonna be using a Phillips number one and a torque number five, I believe. Yes, torque number five. And a curved tweezer, it's handy to have. Also a tiny cutter. You're gonna be using. All right, and for the opening tool, if you get the process, they will include you opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this on hand, we're gonna grab the opening tool. First thing first, we're gonna remove the rubber strip on the back bottom and rubber strip on the back and uh, lower front end of the laptop. By doing this, we're gonna stick the opening tool right at the side and we are gonna scoop the Rubber guard from that side or doesn't matter whichever side you feel comfortable to opening up, make sure you grab the both adhesive and the rubber. In this side, I don't see the adhesive is attached there. Actually, it's, it is attached. Sometimes the adhesive it stays there, so the rubber is on top, so grab it and peel it off. Put it to one side. You can put a double-sided tape to if yours is not sticking in good enough. Remove the back end and put it right beside it. Now we're gonna grab a Phillips number one, and we're gonna see expose the screws at the back row. These are black headed screws, so keep them in one pile. They are the same size and height. On the front end rubber that we removed, there's a two chrome screws. Again, these are the same size. And with a torque number five, we're gonna remove the all the way front exposed screws. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate piles. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed the back screws and the front end screws, we're gonna switch back to torque number five. And we're gonna finish the, uh, removing the screws right all the way in the front corners. Once we remove this one, we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna start from the back end of the laptop. From one corner, we're gonna stick the opening tool right in there and we're gonna peel it off just like that. And if it goes back, don't worry about it. And do the same thing all around in here. So we're gonna do this all around. Make sure you hit those nice click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Do that all the way to the corner. Go to the USB end and you wanna stick it right there. Do that. All right, it's kind of bright. I'm gonna turn off this light over there so it doesn't shine too much. So, and once you did the sides, the front, same thing. Just peel it off. And do the other corner. Once you do this and you still feel like the bottom cover is not coming out, it's because there's a tiny clips, two of them right in the middle. Right in here. 
So in order to remove those, you want to grab the bottom cover, put your hand on the hinges, just grab it and just work it around, just pull it up a little harder and it will release this tiny hook, one right there and one right there that go and hold through this tiny, I don't know if you guys can see these holes. All right, once we have these ones removed, you can also take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean up the bottom cover. This one is kind of dirty. You can clean it up. Now down here, we're gonna see the fan, the heat sink. This model does not have a GPU. If you have a GPU model, the heat sink will continue here over the GPU and you have at one or two screws to remove right over there. But this model doesn't have any. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, all you need to do, put your fingernails at the back of the cover right, hook right there, and then you wanna pull it back, okay? And leave it to one side. Once you have that one removed, now uh, we are gonna remove this tape over. Let me get my, this tape right over the CPU. I usually cut them right on the side here. If you cut from one side, you can lift it up and peel it off. If you peel it off, it will come with this metal bracket here. So just gonna cut it here. This one is a gaffer safe, you don't need it. This shield is to protect these components right here from touching the bottom casing. Has a little clips on the board, tiny clips that go and hook on the corners. So you can put it back in its place. So, there we go, and there we have it. Or you can just remove it for servicing. We are gonna remove the fan. To remove the fan is one, two screws, flip, flip number one. Remove the two screws for the fan. Now, we have to disconnect the fan cable. Do not pull on this cable, they're fragile. Put your tweezers on the side of the jack right there and then pull the fan and the jack backward like that. That's how you want to disconnect it. Okay, you can't pick it up because the fan goes right under the heat sink. So as, once it's loose, leave it right there. Continue removing the four screws for the heat sink. The screws do have a seal lock on them, so that means you only have to loose them up. It will not come out entirely, so pretty much loose them up. Just do a few turns until you feel like, okay, it's pretty much loose. And you want to grab it from here and lift it up, bring it up. And there we have it. There's your old thermal paste. It's pretty much gone. There's nothing in there. It's just dried up. And there's your fan system. You can take it outside and blow some air through here with a toothbrush. You can clean it out nicely. You can use an old toothbrush, clean to toothbrush, just clean it up and, dry, and blow some dry air. And we're going to come back and we're going to clean up the CPU and the heat sink and repaste. All right, now that we clean up the heat sink, we're gonna go ahead and repaste. To repaste, we're gonna grab a little bit of the workshop sheet right there. We're gonna soak it in the alcohol. And we are gonna clean up the heat sink first, rub it right over the heat sink, just like that. Once it's clean, you wanna do the same thing on the CPU side. And another big question people keep asking me why there's a two in die on the CPU um, chip. I'll explain it to you quickly. The reason that there's a two die, this is the CPU and the GPU, everything is in here. The secondary die is a PCH chip. Normally on the older model, they used to have this one apart. It used to be somewhere else on the board, separate. So for the cut down the cost, they integrated beside the CPU and it works even a little better, so the transfer rate is faster and performance is higher. So the PCA chip is dedicated for file transferring, everything like that, and so they pretty much add it to the same CPU. So pretty much that's why they have a secondary die here. All right, once we have it cleaned up, we're gonna apply a one line of the thermal paste over the CPU and tiny line on the PCA chip right there. Once we have that one in place, you wanna grab the heat sink that you cleaned up. You wanna set it down. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. If you lift it up again, you have to repaste. You wanna cross the screw them. So do one side, hold it down with your finger and do the opposite side so the thermal paste spreads evenly over the CPU and the 
DCH chip evenly. And tighten it up nicely, not too tight, just firmly. And grab the fan connector, slide it right through the jack right there. And once you finish with that, all you need to do is to grab the battery evenly, put it inside the jack, and just punch it right through there. Put the two screws for the fan, don't forget that one. And there we have it. Now, one of the, la one the second last part would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, you squeeze the mid down, you wanna hit those two tiny triggers, you squeeze the corners at the back, and if you see any opening, just pinch them hard together, and you're gonna hear them go back together. And the last thing would be to put the black headed screws on the back row, and the chrome on the front, and the hex torques right in the corner. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws on the laptop. Gonna switch back to torque number five. Oh, I torque are the one in the front.